What a day to be a Raptors fan. We forced game five in Philly, but also Scotty Barnes is confirmed to be the NBA's rookie of the year. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you why he won the award over Evan Mobley and Cade Cunningham. Let's get into it. What's going on Raptors fans, it's Jacob here back with Amateur Hour Sports for another Toronto Raptors YouTube video. If you want the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news, then you need to be subscribed to Amateur Hour Sports. And once again, this video is powered by Betstamp. Betstamp offers the best in sports bet tracking and odds finding. It's not a betting site, but it simply tells you which of your favorite sports books are offering the best price that sports wager that you wanted to make. Start maximizing the value of your wagers with the link in the description to sign up to Betstamp and use code RAPS, R-A-P-S, on referral to let them know that I sent you there. But let's get into our video for today. We're talking about Scotty Barnes winning Rookie of the Year. Tomorrow, we'll talk about Game 4 that happened yesterday. I mean, I just really wanted to talk about Scotty Barnes for today's video. And Scotty Barnes, yes, Shams confirmed it. That's where I saw it first. The Shams bomb on Twitter confirmed that Scotty Barnes won the rookie of the year. And I've been saying for weeks, I mean, I've been preaching for months now that Scotty Barnes is the deserved rookie of the year. And in the weeks leading up to this announcement, I've been saying that Scotty Barnes is the man that should win the award. And I understand the case for Evan Mobley 100%, but I felt like the Raptors' real surge at the end of the season and Scotty Barnes put on a real surge at the end of the season coincided with Cleveland kind of falling off and more importantly, Evan Mobley kind of falling off. And I was saying, no, I thought that the results, they were going to be 50-50. I mean, as you can see by the scores here, Scotty Barnes only narrowly edges out Evan Mobley in voting by 15 total points. However, I've been saying, like, a lot of analysts are starting to flip towards Scotty Barnes, and a lot of them are starting to pick him. Even though Evan Mobley was the big favorite for a lot of betting sites, I said Scotty Barnes is going to be a lot closer than you think. And prove me correct when he was announced a winner. I really love the video they had where Vince Carter told him that he won the award. Such a heartwarming and emotional moment to see because Scotty Barnes, I mean, think about the progress he's had to make to get here. First of all, being drafted fourth overall by the Toronto Raptors, that pick was met with so much scrutiny. And leading up to the draft, I think a lot of Raptors fans, including myself, are going to admit that we didn't want Scotty Barnes pre-draft. At least we didn't want Scotty Barnes with that fourth pick. And, you know, even though we didn't want him there. We still understood he was a good player, and a lot of us were trusting Masai Jiri to make the right call. I gotta say, leading up to the draft, I wanted us to draft Jalen Suggs. I understand how wrong it was about that, and I'm happy the management went with the right guy here in Scotty Barnes. Even though I wanted Jalen Suggs pre-draft, as soon as the pick was made, I would say maybe after like five minutes, I went, okay, this is the guy that Masai Jiri, Bobby Webster, the management, this is the guy that they want. This is the guy that they understand they can get the most out of. He's a little bit of a raw prospect, but they trust his potential. And I trusted that completely. I trusted that Scotty Barnes had the potential to be there. Even in pre-draft analysis, even though I thought he was a lot less NBA ready than obviously he was, my pre-draft comparison to him was Magic Johnson. And that was met with a lot of scrutiny. People said he was going to be nowhere near Magic Johnson. And obviously, there's a long way to go to get to any sort of that level. But even Magic Johnson himself has said that Scotty Barnes is a good player comparison to himself. So if even Magic Johnson understands it, I mean, I was calling it pre draft. I mean, a lot of people obviously did not have the right words for Scotty Barnes pre draft. We didn't understand how good this player was because we understood the potential, but we didn't know he's going to be this good this early. Like, we had no clue how good this player was going to be. But he stormed into the NBA, and he's been so consistent all throughout the season, putting up some of the most impressive stats amongst rookies, and ultimately, that has led him to win the award. He averaged over 15 points per game, 7.5 rebounds per game, just over 3 assists on efficient shooting as well, 49% from the field, and above 30% from 3. And this is a guy that we were, like, terrified about his jump shot. Like, we, we trusted Nick Nurse, the school of shooting, to be able to get the jump shot right for this season, but we were still nervous about it. However, I think there was a lot of confidence amongst Raptors fans like myself that the jump shot was going to come. He was going to get that jump shot down. He was going to get that three-point shot down at some point in his career. And based on the progress he's made this season compared to his college season where he couldn't really shoot the three ball at all, to now being an above 30% shooter, I think we're very much looking at an above average three-point shooter in the NBA at some point over the course of his career. Winning the Rookie of the Year award, obviously, there's a long way to go. There are some Rookie of the Year winners who do not really make it in the NBA. They kind of fall off after that. But 
Typically, you're getting a great player when they win Rookie of the Year. 16 of the last 21 Rookies of the Year have made at least one NBA All-Star appearance, and Scotty Barnes is absolutely on the trajectory to get there. It's just so wonderful to see. You know, he's just continued to work on his game. He's worked so unbelievably hard to get himself ready for the NBA, and all that hard work has paid off. You know, being a starter, starting every single regular season game that he featured in for the Raptors, being such an integral part of why this team is the fifth seed, he's 100% deserving of the award. Why is he so deserving of the award when we're talking about Cade Cunningham and Evan Mobley? Lots of Cleveland, lots of Detroit fans are super upset about this. Let's start with Cade Cunningham. Ultimately, by the middle of the season, this was a two-horse race, and Cade Cunningham had to play catch-up. Now, granted, he did a great job at trying to do that, but it wasn't quite enough. I think on any other year, Cade Cunningham would have won the Rookie of the Year award, but Scotty Barnes and Evan Mobley were producing similar, arguably better stats than Cade Cunningham, while also being on teams fighting for a playoff spot. And I think ultimately that's what it came down to because Cade Cunningham had to play catch up. He had to really exceed what Scotty Barnes and Evan Mobley had done, exceed it to a very high degree, which he just wasn't able to do. But but Cade Cunningham, I mean, unbelievable player. He's going to be a great player in the NBA. Just didn't cut it for the Rookie of the Year award. Evan Mobley was the big favorite. And a lot of people are shocked that he did not win the award. Scotty Barnes just slightly edged him out. I think that, in my opinion, I've expressed this so many times, that Scotty Barnes offers so much more to his team. As good as Evan Mobley can be defensively, he's very paint-oriented, rim-oriented. And Scotty Barnes is a good defender and can do it with any of the five positions. And Scotty Barnes can defend any player on the opposing team. Scotty Barnes is tasked frequently with guarding the best player on the other team. Evan Mobley, you very, very seldom see him tasked with guarding the best player in the opposition, where Scotty Barnes had reps against Joel Embiid, had reps against Nikola Jokic, had reps against LeBron James in the regular season, and just proved his versatility and proved his worth defensively. So even though maybe as a, just a defensive talent wasn't quite up to Mobley, the impact he had was much more profound. And the same thing could be said for the offense. A lot of what Evan Mobley does relied on players feeding him the ball. Over two-thirds of Evan Mobley's made field goals were assisted. Over half of Scotty Barnes' made field goals were unassisted. The difficulty in what Scotty Barnes had to do compared to what Evan Mobley had to do was much higher. Scotty Barnes produced better statistics, in my opinion, and did so with a higher degree of difficulty. All that coupled with the Raptors actually having a better record than the Cleveland Cavaliers, there wasn't really anything that I saw that was actual concrete evidence that Evan Mobley should win this award over Scotty Barnes. And I'm glad a lot of voters flipped and decided to go with Scotty Barnes because Evan Mobley was the humongous favorite a couple of months ago. So it's great to see Scotty Barnes won this award. One thing that I don't like about the voting process that I think was a huge factor in Scotty Barnes winning, I've maintained that Scotty Barnes is deserving of the award and should win it anyways. Even when the Toronto Raptors were lower than the Cleveland Cavaliers in the standing, I felt that Scotty Barnes deserved it over Evan Mobley. Not a lot of people agreed with me. Not a lot of neutral NBA fans did agree with me, and maybe I can understand why. But I think that a lot of what went into the selection of this award was that the Raptors moved into that playoff position and ended up being the fifth seed, and the Cleveland Cavaliers fell into that playing position. I think that played a key role. I don't really like how much the team records was a factor in this debate. I think Scotty Barnes just flat out deserved the award. But had the Raptors not finished above the Cavaliers in the standings, I really doubt I'm standing here today talking about Scotty Barnes winning this award. And I think I'm talking about how Scotty Barnes got robbed of the award. And I think that record played too much of a part. However, these are all ifs. We don't need to worry about this discussion because Scotty Barnes confirmed has won the award. It's so great to see. So emotional. I'm so proud of Scotty Barnes, truthfully. I'm so proud of Scotty Barnes for the work that he has put in in order to get this award. And it's great to see him getting some playoff experience, albeit playing with a little bit of an injury. He was just fantastic in game one against the 76ers, despite, you know, the Raptors losing by 20 points. Game four, he was helpful, didn't do a lot on offense, but showed his impact on the team. And hopefully he does just the same in game five. I'm so happy with Scotty Barnes winning this award. This is the start of an insane NBA career. Like, it's difficult to put the words into this one. Scotty Barnes, the sky is the limit. He, like, he has absolutely everything in his game. I don't think there's going to be a single weakness in this guy's game going forward. He has all the tools to be one of the best players in the NBA, a perennial all-star in the NBA, and his career is just getting started. But an award like this, 
I think is going to spur him on to even greater things. So what do you make of Scotty Barnes winning the Rookie of the Year award? Do you think he deserved it? Do you think somebody else like Mobley or Cunningham deserved it? Let's start that discussion in the comments down below because that is it for me for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, drop a like on the video to let me know what kind of content you want to see and to help us reach some new viewers. Let's hit 200 likes on this video and make sure for the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news, you are subscribed to Amateur Hour Sports, helping us on a road to 9 thousand subscribers links in the description for everything i'm about to say check out bet and start maximizing your wagers with code wraps and make sure you're joining the amateur hour sports discord to continue the conversation off the videos thanks so much again i'll see you again next time for another video